Shoes, like these ones, have been found inside the walls of houses all over Britain. And they have been put there for hundreds of years, and we think it probably still happens now. You can find examples uh, in houses from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. And they were thought to offer protection to the people in the household from evil spirits, from demons, from witches' curses. And there's a couple of different reasons why we think they might offer protection. So some people thought that because a medieval saint was so holy, he was able to cast the devil into his shoes. These shoes represent that and offer protection. Some people think that witches liked the smell of human feet. So the smell of shoes would attract a witch, maybe looking to do bad things. Um, and they would get trapped because people thought that maybe witches couldn't turn around and walk backwards, so they would be stuck smelling your shoes for forever. But I think the theory I like best is that shoes held something of the owner. So in the past, when you bought a pair of shoes, you would have two identical shoes. You wouldn't have a left or a right. And as you wore them, your feet would kind of shake them so that they were left and right. So you left a kind of footprint on them that would last, that was rubbed into the leather. And this left a little bit of your soul or some of your essence, maybe. So by putting these in the walls of your house, you might distract or confuse bad magic sent to you. But also, if someone passed away, you might bury their shoes in the wall of your house so that they could stay, stay nearby and keep offering you protection after they'd gone.